Hello and welcome back. Today we're looking into the augmented tools for conventional fixtures. First of all, we need something to illuminate. And in last week's episode, we added so many lights, so there's hardly room for a complete band. Due to this, I'm only adding a small DJ setup. I'm starting with a simple cube for the DJ booth. Next, I take two speakers and rotate them in a way so they look like monitor speakers. I did not find a mixing deck, so I repurposed a speaker for this as well. I mean, that thing is not functional at all anyway, and it just helps to visualize what's going on. To add our conventionals, I go into patch and just add a position to channel 1 and 2. I have not patched any fixture type in patch before. In this case, the channel numbers are automatically patched as dimmers and default to source 4 fixtures. But also patching them previously would be fine. It's just that you can simply skip this step. To point the lights into any direction, just make a long left mouse click where you want to point the fixtures to. Augmented automatically adjusts the XYZ orientation for you. This is the same as click to focus works for moving lights, but be aware that you can only focus conventionals if you're in patch. It will not work if you're just in edit mode. In our augmented tab we have shutter attributes, where we can shutter the lights as if we were working with shutters of a moving light. We can also change the beam angle. If we have selected a gobo in database, we can also change the orientation. The fixture color from our database is set to the fixture as well. Conventionals always default to a sharp light beam, but we can also change this in the augmented tab. A beam edge of 0 is always unsharp, 50 is sharp and 100 is unsharp again, just as with moving lights. So let's focus our two source fours on our DJ setup, arrange our shutters and adjust the light so that they are slightly out of focus. Now our DJ is in a perfect spotlight. If there is anything you are interested in, please leave a comment down in the description. And don't forget to hit the subscribe button. I hope you now have a lot of fun playing with your augmented festival stage. Get creative and see you in the next video.